Hey, it's Thursday, August 17th, and we're continuing in Psalms 119, verse 54 to 56. Your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge. In the night, Lord, I remember your name, that I may keep your law. This has been my practice. I obey your precepts. So your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge. Or one version says, your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. So first and foremost, that word pilgrimage or the other version of wherever I lodge, um, King David's recognizing here, like we're just here passing through. We, this is not our permanent home. He's just reminding himself, he's reminding us as his hearers that, that we're just passing through. Our eternal home is in heaven. And so we just have to do this little blink of time unto the Lord, that we're gonna fix our eyes on Jesus, we're gonna lock eyes with him, we're gonna live according to the word of the Lord, according to the ways of the Lord, in this little, little, little window of time because we have all of eternity, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever to be whole and healed and in the Lord and perfect with him. And so, but right now, but right now we focus on the word of God. We keep his word, his commands in our minds. Um, so, and then your decrees are the theme of my song. So remember that King David is a worshiper. And so the theme of his songs are the word of God. Now, again, I know that not all scholars believe Psalms 119 is authored by King David. I'm going off of Charles Spurgeon's commentary for a lot of this, um, who he does believe, and the scholars that he followed believe that King David was the author of this. So that's just my assumption. But whoever the author of this, whoever the author is, was a worshiper. And the theme of their songs was the word of God, just as it should be for us. You know, that can help us with what we pay attention to, what we listen to, that the theme of the words that we let come into our ears, the music that we listen to, the movies that we watch, the theme should be the word of God, the glory of God. And if it's not honoring to him, it's probably not even worth us listening to or watching. So verse 55 says, in the night, Lord, I remember your name that I may keep your law. So in the night, he's saying, okay, you know, I stay up late at night and I'm calling on your name. I'm remembering your name. Or maybe it's that he's waking up in the middle of the night and instead of letting his mind go automatically to anxiety or, or worries or the cares of this world, he's casting his cares upon the Lord. He's remembering the faithfulness of God. He's remembering the Lord's name, that he is holy. He is faithful. And we too can remember the name of the Lord. You know, the name of the Lord, scripture says, it's a strong tower. The righteous run to the name of the Lord. That's how we're safe is by running to the name of the Lord. We want to go immediately to the name of the Lord, to the presence of the Lord. Jesus has been given the name that is above every other name. So we go to the name of Jesus. If we're up in the night, you know, sometimes if we're going through something in a season and you wake up at night, you know how your mind can just start to just turn and turn and turn almost subconsciously in a way, but we just stop it. And it's like, no, I'm going to run to the name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. I can run into it. I can be safe. The name that is above every name, all rule, authority, power, and dominion. I'm going to the name of Jesus. So we just declare this over ourselves, and we, we assert it over ourselves. We decide in those moments, if we wake up in the wee hours of the morning, instead of worrying or stressing about our day ahead, we go right to the name of the Lord. We're declaring that that is what we're going to do. Verse 56, this has been my practice. I obey your precepts. I love this wording because it is, it is a practice to obey the word of God. It doesn't come natural for any single one of us. There's not a person on earth that, that obeying the word of God is just natural. No, we have to, we have to cut off our old dead flesh and learn to walk in our new born again way of living in Christ and renew our minds through the word of God. So we have to get that new mind and that takes practice. That takes turning the word of God over and over and over in our minds. It takes practicing walking in the ways of the Lord that we hear the word of God and we say, okay, I'm gonna walk in this today. I'm gonna love as Jesus loves today. Just the person in front of me, I'm gonna be kind. Or that person that I need to forgive, I'm going to forgive them or um, the stranger that I meet that needs 
uh, you know, a friendly conversation or somebody to check in on them and see how they're really doing. Like, I'm going to be that person. So we just determine that we're going to walk in the ways of the Lord and we start practicing to walk in the ways of the Lord. It's often very uncomfortable because it's not our natural comfort zone. It's just to stick with the people that we know or to maybe stay in that place of bitterness. That's kind of just more comfortable for us. It's very uncomfortable to walk in the newness of Christ and who he's made us to be in the word of God at first until again, we, we've talked about this before, but it's like wearing that new pathway. The more that we walk in it over and over day by day, back and forth, practicing the word of God, the more it becomes just who we are in the natural way we think. But we first have to practice obeying God in order for it to become natural, in order for it to become our instinctual thoughts. And so we want to be those that practice obeying the word of God. So over and over, just little by little, he is faithful and he will do it in us. He will work his word in us when we walk according to his word. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you are all powerful, that your word is living and active and true. And we want to obey your word. We want your word to be the theme of our lives. Um, we want your word to be first in our thoughts. Whether it's waking up in the middle of the night or walking through our day, we want your word to be what's turned over and over and over in our minds. So Holy Spirit, would you help us with that and help us to walk in the ways of you, God, today. In Jesus' name, amen.